everyone, this is Jason Berry with Digital Health Wire. I'm coming to you live from the show floor at Health Las Vegas 2025, and I'm at the Withings booth. And today we are also joined by Baby Scripts because we are diving into an exciting partnership, tackling one of the most pressing challenges in maternal health, which is hypertensive disorders of pregnancy. Today I'm joined by Sadie Moore and Anish Sebastian. Sadie, Anish, great to have you here. Jason, excited to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, can you walk us through kind of the problem that you're tackling and why this is so important? Absolutely. Hypertensive disorders during pregnancy are a rising issue. Uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 percent of women are impacted by mm -hmm. hypertension during pregnancy, and you're actually twice as likely as the generation before you to be impacted by one of these mm -hmm. issues. It's escalating. It's also a silent condition. A lot of the time there's no symptoms and it can be very, very intrusive to the mother, to the baby. Um, maternal morbidity rates are unfortunately going up and this is one of the leading causes. Mm -hmm. So having that constant care and that remote care option is super, super critical for these mother's health and their babies. Fantastic. Anish, anything to add? Yeah, just to add to, add to that, you mentioned that maternal mor morbidity is on the rise. Mm -hmm. We're the only nation of any advanced economy where that's the case. So these are, quite frankly, embarrassing statistics. Mm -hmm. And we think access to care is, is a major root cause here. So I'm excited to talk a little bit more about the partnership and and showcase some real results that we're seeing. Yeah, embarrassing is not the wrong word to use there. Every time I see those numbers, um, it's tough to look at. How does this partnership kind of intend to move the needle on some of these numbers? Yeah, I would just say that like having that constant care with that Baby Scripts is providing, not just with a device, but with an entire program. Um, so Baby Scripts uses our BPM Pro 2. Uh, the BPM Pro 2 is our newest cellular blood pressure monitor. Cellular devices are so important for programs like this because they increase accessibility. Uh, it doesn't take any work to set the device up. The patients can just take them right out of the box and start using them. They also have a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth fallback if someone is in a cellular dead zone. Because once again, we want to make this program inclusive for everybody in all parts of the country. Um, and so BPM Pro 2 is really made to increase engagement. You know, and if you want to get readings and you want to help mothers, you need to make sure they're actually using that device. So things like education on the screen of the device that shows them exactly how to take a blood pressure reading are super important because it can be scary. Your doctor sends you home with this new device. They say you might have this issue. You're super worried. So not knowing how to use it can just add to that stress. So we wanted to provide things like the education, provide things like our retake measure feature, where if that patient has a high reading based on that specific patient's threshold, it actually prompts them to retake the measurement, making sure that the Baby Scripts care teams have the most accurate data possible so they can perform their really important care. It also does things like health nudges to increase the engagement on it, pushes them messages to let them know they're doing great. Um, and overall, we're trending to see over 90% retention after a year of using this device. Nice, BPM Pro 2 is a fantastic device. I saw it last year at Health, was able to get hands on with it. Anish, as far as the partnership from Baby Scoop's side, what are the, some of the benefits we're looking to have and how does it kind of work from your end? Yeah, we think the BP Pro 2 is an awesome device. It is cellularly enabled. It has these engagement nudges. There's an LCD screen on it. So it really is meant to drive engagement at the end of the day. And we've seen some great results on that. What we do is, is take the device and, and build all of the wraparound around it. That's the technology to identify risk, notify the care team, and also use our care navigators to really engage the mom if necessary, yes. right? So I think this is a great combination of really good hardware, right? And really good software and services coming together. Ultimately, the goal is to take the healthcare out of the four walls of the clinic mm -hmm. into the patient's home and their pockets. Right? Nice. So that's what it's all about. And, and how is that different from some of the other RPM approaches? Like what makes this program stand out? Yeah, for us, it, it, it truly is that combination of that specialization on maternity that we bring to the table and a premier device that we think brings to the table, mm -hmm. right? One thing we, we focus on quite a bit is, is the fact that there's, you know, really good cellular connectivity, right? That, that's not necessarily the case with a lot of other devices. Mm -hmm. And I, I will also say, in addition to the hardware, one of the things we've really enjoyed about the partnership is everything else that comes with it. Mm -hmm. I, I recall one time when there was a, a device inventory issue uh, they were super responsive and when we were going through the whole tariff thing and great partners to deal with, right? So as much as the device is important, it's also everything that goes along with it. And we've had a great time with that partnership. 
Are, are there any real world examples that you can kind of share if you're at liberty to share um, some of the success stories that you've seen with either patients or clinics? Yeah, I mean, this is meaningfully changing patients course during pregnancy. And we actually just recently did a story about a, uh, a patient in Cheyenne, Wyoming, mm. right? Uh, there, that's a rural area of America. And oftentimes it takes hours to just get to the, the hospital, the clinic, right? You can use these devices to activate the patient at their home, connect them to the provider, keep them more engaged in the care. We're showing meaningful value to the point where we're avoiding these adverse outcomes. Ultimately, creating a better place to have a baby. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And that's also true in, in urban settings, right? In a city where you have to take two buses and take a whole day off of work just for a 15 minute appointment, remote care, virtual care, telehealth can, can be a really good replacement for that, right? So I think whether it's an urban New York City area or rural America, there's tons of benefits there. Bringing care to more mothers, expanding access to care. Thank it's you awesome. guys for tackling this. Sadie, Anish, Thanks for joining us on the Always show. It's a pleasure. Thank you. That's been the Digital Health Wire Show. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.